Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I'm about to react to Abba and Preach. And this one is zero matches, so should get a little spicy. I have never seen no shit like this before in my life. You don't have, you've never had a match ever? Not on this. I got like one match on Tinder and that, that was like a while back and that did not work out. Uh, yeah, no. I am the world's most undateable boy or man or whatever gender you assume me, assume me to be. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay, so before Auburn Preach say anything, um... As a woman, and I'm just going to say this, first on site seeing him, he has zero confidence, um, which, you know, I guess through life, he's, you know, I don't know what he's experienced, but clearly if he has no matches on Tinder, you know, it can eat at you to not feel desirable. I mean, we, you know, there's an opposite spectrum of that as well that I may one day talk about, um, but it's, but what I... Um, what I can see just from looking at him, like as a female, he's just like the way he's holding his body. And it looks like, are they in the gym? It looks like he's okay looking, but it doesn't look like he's really putting any work into his body. And this isn't like to put him down, but I'm just saying off the first sight of seeing him, this is my initial reaction as a woman. He just kind of has like that Ned Flanders haircut. And again, this is not roasting him, okay? This is not roasting him. Don't, don't y'all, uh-uh. We ain't roasting the boy. He already got enough problems, all right? We're going, we're going to be, we're going to be kind here, but this is giving honest feedback like me, or I got makeup on my shirt. So yeah, so there's your honest feedback. But I will say he doesn't really look like he has any confidence. Um, he's kind of hunched over. He doesn't have good posture. He seems to, um, and it is no fault of his own, but it seems like it's a little issue with his teeth going on. Um, which in my opinion, okay, in the way he's dressed, well, he's at work, but let's just, I doubt he dresses on a higher caliber outside of work. He seems to be of a decent height. He seems to have clear skin. Um, he's not ugly. Uh, he's average, I would say, but I would say instead of feeling sorry for himself, immediately he needs to be hitting those weights. Like his life depends on it restructure his body so that he gets a more masculine frame because the hunched over shoulders it reminds you of like an old man it does not look like hey girl come get this come get this hey it doesn't really read that to me um and i think that would boost his confidence too when your body looks really good it boosts your confidence he can get a little tan totally different haircut if he can grow facial hair i would suggest that as well those though the gym getting getting uh getting his body really conditioned, top peak conditioning. Um, no excuse, especially if you work in a gym. Um, he can, you know, he may not have the money for it, but at some point he could get his teeth fixed. Okay, these are all things that are fixable. I'm not telling you anything that can't be fixed. Haircut, that's the third thing. Um, and uh, growing facial hair, possibly, that's the fourth thing. And then uh, his posture, that's the fifth thing. And then uh, how he speaks without any confidence, kind of guessing, putting himself down. He's definitely going to do, um, he needs to take a course or get a life coach on how to get more confidence, maybe even some therapy and start building himself up so that he's, he, he has a presence. Uh, go to Charisma on Command on YouTube, learn to, some charisma, uh, how to talk to women, all types of things that he could do. So I've listed six things already that he could do. One is only one of those requires a lot of, a lot of money. Okay. So after that, I would say the next thing, um, his, uh, I think I, did I say his posture and his clothing? Um, I know he's at work, but let's be honest. He's probably not dressing really well outside of this. I mean, these right now, I just gave him seven things. No, wait, I can't count seven things that he could do that in my opinion would boost him up at least three points. And that's just my opinion, but y'all can say I'm calling cap. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your head up, bud. Kinda have to. Otherwise, my neck's gonna break. This is a thing, right? 
So since everything is like changed over time, right? Mm. You're noticing that now most people are meeting through online dating, mm. right? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think mm. online dating is positive in a lot of ways. You get to meet people you would never meet and interact with possibly. You have an opportunity to, you know, try to talk to as many people as possible. But I'm going to speak specific to the men because I think the male and the female experience on online dating is completely different. Guys, if you aren't the most physically attractive, especially like towards your face, okay? Don't push yourself on online dating or make it your avenue to meet people because it is, it is the worst way for you. Okay? It's going to be deceptive. One, your height doesn't translate super well Deceiving. on online dating. Deceiving. Okay? Pretty much it's like a face thing, right? And then from there, your height and all that stuff factors in. But like, if you don't got it, you don't got it, right? So rather than put your fucking self-esteem through that beating if it can't handle it, go find ways where it's more optimal to you. The guy in question was relatively tall, probably like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so still, you know, above average height, okay? Decent build. If he was in a social environment with social activities, right, where you're naturally talking to the opposite sex and you're meeting people on a regular basis, he would meet women. He, he would have more chances to showcase something else than just face. So I get what they're saying. Um, like he isn't going to showcase well online, but I, and I agree. I think most men, unless you are a top nine, 10 Chad, let me, let's be honest. Wheat Waffles has an excellent, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's not red pill. He's black pill. I believe don't, don't get on me. Wheat Waffles, <laughs> but, um, he really breaks down things from a really studying it and doing surveys and breaking it down where for me in a very, he uses logic and critical thinking to kind of really demonstrate it as PowerPoints. It's really amazing. Even if you don't agree with everything he says, it's to see somebody's argument well laid out without a bunch of emotions. And like, I, you know, like, you know, as women, it's like, I'm not doing online dating anymore. These dudes are trash or whatever. You know, it, it comes from a place of logic. So I will say, though, if he improved the things I said, get off online dating, work on himself for the next year, just just on those things. Also, getting a better job because working at the gym, uh, uh, whatever he's doing, I don't know if he's in school or not, but that's not a high paying job. So he needs to work on finding something, a niche that he can get into, he can work on. Maybe he will find that even bodybuilding or lifting weights, um, maybe dressing, start a YouTube channel, anything that he can do to start building these categories. Okay. The seven categories I talked about just on appearance. And then, then he can also be building, uh, uh, his, uh, his money, his purpose and those things. And I think, I think it's, I, I agree with them, but I also think that no matter, even in person, I don't think he would translate as well, just because the way he, he's just so, he's almost like a wounded animal and putting himself down. I mean, what arena would he actually stand out or actually have a chance to meet women just based on how timid and, and honestly, socially awkward he seems. He needs to really get help for being such, so socially awkward and that would help quite a bit. Uh, it, it makes me wonder if he was bullied a lot. You know, um, it kind of reminds me of that. And this, because what you see on Tinder is really quick. Exactly. So, yeah. So my point is, it's like, understand what your skill sets are, what you have, okay? Because Tinder, you're, nobody knows your personality. They're not going to get to know you. They're not going to be like, oh my God, this guy looks like he's funny. That's not happening. They're looking at your face and they're swiping. So, if you're not having success there, it's because your skill sets don't translate to that platform. So I tell this to a lot of dudes, like, Get off of that. Go learn a hobby that you actually interact with the opposite sex. There's plenty of them out there, right? Go do stuff that gives you a chance to actually interact with them. But if you're not going to do that, you're going to limit your opportunities to meet them. I mean, I know dudes who fucking work at a tech, 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 tech company or they work at fucking Future Shop or Best Buy. And it's like just dudes working there. And they don't have any hobbies. They don't have anything. And they're all around. Look, and they're, and they're you all have no way to meet people. Your job doesn't even give you an opportunity. And most people, we at work. So my advice to folks is like, understand what you got going for you and then work accordingly. Not everyone's going to have the best hand dealt to them. Online dating wasn't for me. I had a bit of success there, but very limited. Okay. I had to learn to do other shit. So I understand it's a struggle. I know it's hard. I know like being invisible. I know what it's like. When you've been swiping all day, right? You've been swiping. Days have passed by. Your homies is getting matches. They're going on dates. They're talking about how they're getting late. You're not getting nothing. And sometimes when you do get matched and it's hot, it's a fucking bot. Some girl trying to sell you on her cam. Like, it's crazy. That shit don't piss a man off. When you hot match, like, I, if I match with a hot girl now, I don't even believe she's real. 
I, I agree. Yeah, I'm like, w why are you talking? Again, I want to say this. I agree with what they're saying, but I do think it's not going to be enough for him. I'm just being honest. It's not going to be enough. He's going to, you know, there are some there are some guys who don't want to compete. They don't. A lot of guys don't want to compete. I know you talk about women don't want to compete and be delusional. I agree. But some guys just aren't doing they don't want to compete. Like you can see this. If this guy has said, look, I got my hair done. I, I've been lifting weights. I worked on my personality. I got, you know, I did everything to become the best version of myself. Then I would say, okay, we got to, we got to pinpoint. Don't just say nobody wants me. Look, can we pinpoint what's going on? And I know the dating market is trash. Trust me. I know, I know, I know before y'all start going to let Mel, these women, I get it, but there are still good women out there. There's women who want relationships like me. You have to have a better understanding of wh where your weaknesses are and where your strengths are. And all you can do is change you. You cannot demand the market to change. It hurts. It's it's terrible. It's It shouldn't be this way. But what are you going to do other than you keep improving? You keep trying to be the best version of yourself. Okay? And don't give up on those things, but build wealth. Do things that contribute to you, make you a better person. And you can't lose like that. And then if you want to get on a dating app or whatever and see how life unfolds for you that way. But it doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't like the guy's even trying. He's just giving up. To be bought. Sometimes it's a real person and they like, what the fuck's your problem? So just understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm topic. not rude. It's just that hot matches with bot. It rhymes with hot match. Yes. It rhymes with bot. The only messages I usually get on uh, dating apps are from the dating apps itself. A while ago, I made a joke video talking about how I am literally the, the cover man for being ghosted or ignored and how to handle it. I've tried a wide assortment of like pictures from me playing chess with like some rap legends to like really good outfits that my friend designs themselves and she's I'm going to say, bro, you're not trying in those pictures. I'm, I'm just, I'm not putting him down, but those aren't great pictures in any way. Don't, don't really show anything. You can't really see your face. You can, it's like a room that you had like a thing cover your face. Then you're with rap legends playing chess. That doesn't really, as a female, this doesn't read at all. Um, and I mean, I can tell it does not look like he's in the peak conditioning, the best shape of his life. We none of us are, but it doesn't look like he's striving for that. I can't tell. Um, it just looks like he's always in a room or somewhere kind of a little weird. He's not really outside doing activities with friends. It's it just two dead rap legends. I'm not sure what that was. And then just seeing him just this little bit here, um, uh, he can get that skin cleaned up quite a bit. That haircut is not suited for him. That's definitely got to be uh, completely changed. In fact, uh, I think he would look good actually with some dreads uh, and um, yeah, definitely with some dreads, different facial hair, get that facial hair cleaned up in the biggest thing, lose body fat, gain muscle. Um, and then as far as uh, clothing goes, for sure, the clothing's just not, it just looks, it, it, it's not really doing anything. That's just what I'm seeing off off bat. Not again, not putting him down, but I'm just giving a, a, a my first initial impression. She's a girl and she was like, oh, these, these would be cool outfits. We did photo shoots and everything. And I talked about my superpower. Comedic timing. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And it was, it was like, he does have, that was, that was funny. That was funny. That was great. But in a normal setting, it would be fun on Tinder. Shit. I had even picked up the Bumble Premium Lifetime. I'm a member forever. I got the super swipes that I just stopped using because every time I super swipe somebody, it just nothing really happened. And then I turned on Spotlight uh, almost every single day, and I, I still don't, I still don't get any uh, matches. I have friends that are girls, and they always say, "John, you'll be a great boyfriend," or "I can't believe you don't have a girlfriend yet." And then I'm like. Well, you could change that. And they'd be like, nah, I'd probably ruin our friendship. The fact okay, so before I've been preached say anything, yeah. Um, if a girl has you in the friend zone like that, she doesn't like you, she doesn't have sex sexual attraction to you, um, and or you just you she just sees you as a friend. And then by saying, Well, you can change that, that's not it does not uh translate well. 
his best bet at 26, he should just stop chasing women, stop trying to date. Um, he should be getting his, uh, stacking his money as best he can, uh, build his confidence. Same, I mean, same thing I told the other guy, like, I know you want to, but the faster you get on the road to improving physically, mentally, financially, spiritually, all these areas leveling up instead of just saying, oh, they don't take me to dance. I just tried a couple pictures, a couple outfits. What well, are you really trying? Do you really want this? And I know some people say, well, it, no matter what you do, it's not going to work. Well, if that's your attitude, okay, that's fine. Why are you watching this? Like, bow out. Like, bye. Like, I get it. I get it. Okay? The frustration of it. But in my opinion, I don't see these guys maximizing their potential because I don't think either one of them are ugly men at all. I think they're average, but I think they can definitely up themselves by quite a bit, Um just by doing some very basic things, but it doesn't seem like, you know, they're willing to do that. They, it's almost like take me as I am, which we hear on the other side of things. The fact that you're even looking at girls that you call supposed friends and talking about you could change that already. Your approach to them is like, you've thrown yourself into the dungeon. You are in that friend zone. Okay. You put yourself there to get out of that bitch is impossible for most people. So you also have to understand you even being disappointed by the fact that somebody would say you'd make good boyfriend materials. Like, bruv, you've put yourself in a situation with a girl that you don't want to be your friend. You want her to be your girlfriend. So you have to also acknowledge like the mistakes that you're making mm -hmm. that are contributing to your situation. Mm -hmm. I never had no girl talk to me like, you make a good boyfriend. I'm like, damn, but you could be my girlfriend. That's lame, bro. That's lame. So you have to acknowledge like, you don't want these friends. You want them for girlfriends and you need to stop doing that shit. Mm -hmm. So maybe we, we shouldn't say things like you would make a great boyfriend to me because it, it kind of like messes my head up a little bit. They're not messing up your head. You're messing up your head. So they're trying to be nice. They're trying to let him down easy. Like they don't even, cons I got to be, I'm going to be brutally honest. And if any of you guys, I've, some people have asked me this. If any of you guys want me to look at your dating profile or your, um, your Instagram, I may start doing that and, and just like, like talking to guys and like what I'm seeing as a female, you know, your girl is not going to steer you wrong. Um, but I will say it's just, he's blaming the women for saying these nice things, him letting him down easy and it's getting his hope up, but they can feel the desperation, bro. They can feel it. They know you want a woman. They know you don't get girls. They do. They do. I'm just be honest. They do. They can feel it because they don't have that sexual energy towards you. It's just not there. How do you think a guy like ASAP Rocky got Rihanna? How do you think Pete Davidson got Kim Kardashian? And I'm not using them as though these are some wonderful examples, but I'm saying these are like, in my opinion, very, Pete Davidson is maybe a five at best in the face. His body, he's very skinny, very lanky. He's not anybody that's like beautiful. Uh, neither is Kanye West. He just obviously had his paper up and things like that. But Pete Davidson actually has less paper than Kanye West. And, and look what's going on. So and then you also look at ASAP Rocky. Rihanna could have had any man in the world, most likely. And she chose him. Why? It's not that ASAP is that fine or women. I don't know any woman that's like, oh, oh that ASAP Rocky. And not putting him down. But I'm saying he's not known to be like a Tyson Beckford type dude. You know, where, whoo, I got to have it. Um, same, I can list so many, A-list the weekend and I know they're celebrities, so it's different. But what I'm saying is if when you look at women who are higher, Rihanna getting with ASAP, why is it because he's the finest man? Because it's no, there's something about swag, his energy. He wasn't desperate for her. It was actually, people have broken this down. Um, uh, MTR did a really good one, uh, juxtaposing him with Drake and it's, you can overcome certain things. You can overcome them. But if you, you know, but if you, you have to want to, if you're going to just blame everybody, then like, like, what's the point? Like you don't want help. You've given up. And I would say, don't give up until you have done everything you can. And then if it ain't working here, just go overseas, bro. You'll find a girl, <laughs> especially you got your paper up. A lot of guys are out here lying, talking about, yeah, I got a bunch of girlfriends. No, you don't. You have girls you're hoping to date and you're being friendly with them. You have a bunch of girls that you're around and you waiting for them to be vulnerable. And then you'd be like, tying your shit. Yeah. That, that, let's be honest. 
Let's be honest. Yeah. You be friends around them, and then when they're vulnerable, you're like, hmm, maybe I could be the next one. And you're just deceived every time. That's what it is. And I get it. Because for me, I, I used to say this all the time. Like, I couldn't do the whole friendship with ladies. Like, 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 like real friendships. I could be cordial. I could be cool, amicable, see them what's up. But I'm talking about like we just hanging out amicably all the time. And like there's no, I couldn't do that because generally I would be attracted to them. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Now in my older years, it's a lot easier because I don't even want it. I don't give a shit. Could, you've been right? through that. You did I've that. been through that. So now I can have homegirls that are, and I don't even think about it like that. You get me? But you're not there. So a lot of guys have to stop lying to themselves, okay? They're not messing up your head. Now, the one addendum that I would say is like some women will sometimes keep dudes that they know are into them as friends and they're dishonest about mm-hmm. it too. So some women do that. I will say this. A lot of times they're getting that validation from you. They're getting a male presence. They're getting a male to do things with a male to most likely if you're friends with them, you're simping, especially with what you said. And so they're getting that energy. They're getting that from you. And it's really, you know, and maybe they really like you as a friend. They like you as a person. But if you want to date these women, you are definitely you. You got to come out the friend zone and, and like saying these little sly things and trying to and looking sorry for yourself. Women do are not attracted to wounded birds. Men are, but women are not attracted to a man that's woe is me. We like a man that says, you know what, life kicked me, genetics kicked me, everything kicked me, but I'm gonna get up. And if you can see, there's a lot of men in the world who've done great things and are living a great life, and they were not born with great genetics, trust me. But you have to acknowledge your part in this Mm -hmm. because that's the only thing that you can control. And you have 100% control of that situation. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say that. Definitely. If you're wondering how the spotlight is going, I I, I do the um, 150 minutes, so I show up in front of people for a long time. After a while, I kind of just came to the realization that I'm just not anybody's type, which is okay, you know. Uh, it used to it used to bother me and like have me like down, but at some point it becomes normal, like the status quo, and then you find yourself inside of your room. Maybe my bio is too like goofy, you know what I'm saying? I say that I'm a goofball, I'm from the South, uh, proud of my Southern roots. Um, I would love to have adventures with people. It might be my swipe right if, if you guys, because I truly believe that communication Women are not attracted to goofballs on your dating profile. You look need to look like a man, a grown man. Um, you don't need to look like you need to look like you have your ish together. Um, when you be goofy and per, have fun in person, but um, I, that could be a big reason. I don't see anything in that dating app that will be compelling. Um, it needs to be rewritten. Pictures need to be completely redone. I can't even tell. And if I'm honestly that first picture, I I. I'm going to be honest, it was giving me a little, how you doing? And there's nothing wrong with that, but it did not, it didn't feel masculine. It didn't feel like, mm, it, 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 like your masculine frame's not there. And I don't know, it will be worth it to invest more, like I said, into your body, your look, your skin, your hair, like a complete redo. And you need to be hitting that gym twice a day. And all you need to be doing is grinding on your purpose, getting or getting a second job, whatever you have to do to become a better version of yourself. But just sitting there in this passive mode, just, well, I paid for this, let's hope I get a swipe right. And if I'm be honest, the women I saw that was on there that he was swiping on, in my opinion, they're above his pay grade at where he currently is. They're above his pay grade. So is he only, is he liking a lot of those women? But you know, he could be liking the other ones. I know how it goes, but I'm just being dead honest that he has not maximized, maximized his potential, but he needs to not be on the dating net right now. Like he's not ready. He's not, it, this is blood sport. Like it's, it's not for the weak at heart. That's why I ain't on it. I ain't ready. Communication is the number one responsibility of both people inside of the relationship. You should be able to talk to each other about anything without being vulnerable or feeling as if the other person is going to judge you because no, nobody wants that in a relationship. But if you're out there and you have never had anybody match with you or anybody interested in you or never really felt love and affection or physical touch from another person, do what I do and just get a bunch of like plushies and giant pillows. It it works wonders. Like 
Okay, I know he's trying to be funny, but it just comes off as like cringe and a little socially awkward. And again, I'm not going in on this dude because I, I, I'm I not at all. But if, listen, think of me as like the sister, big sister, just trying to tell you what it is. Um, this is cringe. This is not going to attract women. There may be women who maybe see the TikTok as his TikToks get bigger. And now Auburn Preach got him on here. So he, look, he may see some tides changing pretty soon. But um, and he may get a girlfriend out, out of this, actually. So, but I would say for the masses, this will not work. Like he's got to grow up. He's 26. He needs to take on a whole masculine, to remove childhood things, remove all that. And just, you need to just dig in for a year and grow up everything in your life and then resume kind of dating. If he don't get some, you know, if he don't pull one off of this video, he might.